having problems being successful, maybe you should watch this video. Check it out. Welcome to today's Life Light series where it's all about knowledge. Are you listening? If you're having problems being successful and you don't know what to do, maybe you should be watching this. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the five reasons why you're not successful. So reason number one, you're still using somebody else's definition of success. Sometimes it's a good idea to emulate somebody that's doing something better than you. Or sometimes it's just a good idea to take the steps of someone that's just equally as successful or more successful than you are right now in the same venture or the same goal. However, trying to be something that you're not is not a good idea. And that's usually the first point when people fail. So please, don't try to be something you're not. The other part of this is you're not quite sure on what it is that you want or need or the reason why you're doing this to begin with. Usually that's one of your big mistakes too. So instead of trying to take somebody else's ideas or blueprint and follow behind their footsteps completely, you should take some time out to understand what it is you want, what it is you need, and to internalize the things that you're looking for. So number two, you're afraid to ask for help. If you don't know, ask. Ask, ask, ask. You cannot perform any task or any behavior or reach any goal if you don't understand how to get there. So if you don't know, ask. Ask an expert, ask somebody who's been there before. But once you get that answer, please make it fit the mold that works for you, not them. Moving forward with a task without understanding it can be quite devastating. Imagine going to the gym and trying squats for the first time. You've never seen it before, you don't know how it's performed, but you've heard of it. Imagine putting your legs in the wrong position and your back and putting on twice as much weight as you can do, thinking that you can lift that. That can be dangerous and devastating, and that's the same way as life. Trying to reach any goal without knowing how to do it can end you very quickly. Number three, your reasons are selfish. Vanity, greed, and envy is never a reason to start a goal. Just because you're jealous of the way somebody looks, the way somebody behaves, how successful they are, is not the reason for you to start a goal. You should start a goal because you want to start the goal and you envision the end. You should start a goal because you want to start a goal and not because somebody else is doing something you wish you could do. You're not being true to yourself and you can't sustain the fakeness. Look, if you're trying to do something that you know you can't do or you know you don't have the personality for, you cannot sustain the fakeness. I cannot say that more. That's something that I often talk about in my videos that I try to be real, I try to be honest, and I try to be me. Why? Because that's what works for me. So if you're trying to emulate someone else, like if I was trying to emulate Yusuf and all the things that he does, that would be completely fake. And there would be no way I would be able to sustain that. That would not make me successful. So me doing this on my own platform and the way I want to do it is my own version of success and that works for me. Number four, look Alpha, you, you just have poor time management. Look, you just take on too many tasks and you don't know how to prioritize them so you can't finish them. When you're in business or when you're trying to reach a goal, sometimes the first things we do is just take on as much information, as much tasks, as much things as possible. And that is also a downfall. Your brain can only handle so many things at one time. You can't do it all. You can't expect to fully do tons of cardio. You can't expect to lift all kinds of weight and eat properly off the break. You have to take your time. You have to manage it properly. If you don't, and one falls, one falters, the rest of it will be a domino effect. Another thing is you're too busy to maintain the effort, so tasks just fall off. If, again, we're gonna use the analogy for working out. If you're trying to work out and do things right and you don't have time to work out and do things right, it's gonna fall off. If you're always busy, you're always working, you don't make the proper time to work out, you're not gonna reach the goals that you wanna reach. If you wanna get a huge chest, huge biceps, if you wanna have it all, you gotta put in the time and the work. You can't expect to get those results and not go, not put in the effort. You can't expect to go to the gym and do one or two reps and walk away. You have to put in the effort and you cannot let your task drop. This is one of the reasons why I talk about having a blueprint and understanding what it is works for you. You 
you have to know what works for you. What works for D-Rock does not work for me. I cannot follow his regimen because it's not my regimen. If I try his regimen, I'll fall off. Number five, you stop aspiring to improve yourself. When you feel like you know everything, you tend to put off studying. You tend to put off education. You tend to put off wanting to learn more about it. Let's go back to working out again. If you are a fitness expert and you feel like you know everything, you're gonna keep telling your clients over and over and over how to do something. What if it's the one thing in that workout you're doing wrong and you start injuring your clients? Whose fault is that, your clients or you? It's usually you, why? Because you didn't take the effort or the time to understand your craft fully and you failed them and you failed yourself. Because you got lazy. When you stop improving yourself, it's usually one of two things. You feel like you know too much or you just got lazy. Trying to reach these goals that I'm trying to reach. I have to eat properly every day. I have to try to work out as much as possible. And I have to keep my mind positive. I cannot afford to be lazy. The moment I'm lazy is the moment I'm going to go to the Wendy's drive-thru. <laughs> is the moment I'm going to order pizza. Is the moment I'm going to order cake and ice cream all the time. I cannot afford to do that. That's laziness. The moment I, I begin to be lazy is the time where I'm going to just stop reading how to work out and what works. The nutrition I should be taking in. That's laziness. And that's not improving myself. So Alphas, I hope you enjoyed it because really it's a subject that's close to my heart. All right. I want you to be successful as much as I want to be successful. D-Rock wants you to be successful as much as I want you to be successful. And the only way we can be successful together is understanding how we fail. So I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you understood it. And if you have any questions or concerns or just need me to answer anything, please comment below. I'll be available to answer anything you may want and anything you may need. All right, Alpha, so let's try to be successful together. Hold me accountable, I'll hold you accountable. Let's live life, because life demands results, so what do your results say about you? I'm not eating that rice though. You mentioned some things are changing in the way you do video. What's changing? Me, baby! <laughs> you see this? <laughs> this hot!